Joining me now, former Arkansas governor and presidential candidate Mike Huckabee. Great to have you with us, Mike. And let's start with the president's extraordinary success at the Singapore summit. Uh, and the great fun it is to watch the national left-wing media contort itself trying to avoid saying the obvious, which is what an amazing, extraordinary, historic moment for this president and the country. It was an extraordinary and historic moment. And, and of course, it's fair to say we don't know what the long-term result will be. Will Kim Jong-un keep the agreement? But, Lou, here's the big difference. If he doesn't, Donald Trump is not Barack Obama, nor is he George W. Bush or Bill Clinton. And if he thinks that uh, the response of Jim Mattis, John Bolton, Mike Pompeo, uh, and Donald Trump is going to be one of, oh, you didn't keep the bargain? Well, fine. Uh, no problems. I think Kim Jong-un has the clear understanding that when Donald Trump says that fire and fury will be the result of a continued nuclear program, I think he totally understands yeah. that President Trump is not joking about it. You know, one cannot imagine Mike Pompeo, for example, being dispatched by the president to tell uh, Kim Jong-un if he were to violate the deal, uh, the basic agreement. Uh, I'm sorry, as, uh, as John Kerry said to the Ayatollahs, uh, when they uh, <laughs> took our, our, our uh, service members uh, prisoner in, 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 the, in the Persian Gulf, I'm sorry. You know, it's still one of the great uh, well, non sequiturs of, of uh, American diplomacy. Lou, I can tell you this. President Trump won't be sending James Taylor over to Strum. You've got a friend. <laughs> I like the way you think, and I love that. Uh, the midterm elections, the Trump effect is working. It's straightforward, uh, but apparently Paul Ryan, Mitch McConnell, the Republican Party, at least are represented by uh, the leadership on Capitol Hill, don't get it. Uh, Ronna McDaniel, the chair of the RNC, she gets it at big time. Well, I think most everybody who voted for Donald Trump and many who didn't, but now who say, you know, I didn't vote for the guy, but by golly, he's delivering on his promises. We've cut taxes. We've restored America's place in the world. Uh, he, he's creating historic agreements. We've cut regulations. Businesses is an all time high. Bumped into a guy today. He said, we're making more money we've ever made as a business. He's in the transportation business. He says, I love Donald Trump. He doesn't love him cause, just because he's making money. He loves him because he's giving people jobs and those people are making more money they've ever made in their lives. When people don't get that, it's because they live in that little tiny bubble of D.C. and they breathe their own exhaled air and it's making them very, very ill. And Mark Sanford, who was crushed by Katie Arrington in South Carolina for uh, the Republican nomination to the to the House. I, I mean, she, you know, he, he said it uh, to all Republicans who are listening. You don't want to get that tweet I got last night. Uh, because it, it turned the race right there. Uh, and you know that this president... Well, is yeah. <laughs> and, and it's real easy to avoid it. Look, Donald Trump got more Republican votes in the primary than any Republican in the history of this country, including more than Ronald Reagan, either of the Bushes. He got more, period. He was elected president. He's serving with distinction and with a, an extraordinary sense of accomplishment. Right. And if some of these Republicans, like Bob Corker, who says if you uh, like uh, Trump, you must be some cult member. Well, my gosh, Lou, uh, Bob Corker, there's a reason he got booed off the yeah. stage in his home state of Tennessee when Donald Trump well, showed up. Let, let's, let's show everybody one reason why the man gets booed. I, here he is right now talking about uh, this uh, new allegiance to the president uh, on the part of the Republican Party. We might poke the bear. It's a language I've been hearing in the hallways. We, we might poke the bear. The president might get upset with us as United States senators if we vote on the Corker Amendment. So we're going to do everything we can to block it. And, of course, the Corker Amendment designed to block the president's authority on uh, imposing tariffs. Uh, is, you get the last word here, Governor, uh, as we wrap up. Well, if, if Corker had been doing the uh, deal with the North Koreans, he would have flown over a big pallet of cash like he uh, acquiesced to Obama doing in the Iran deal. We have it because of Corker. And, and I think Bob Corker needs to realize, yes, 
The President Trump is a bear. Show some respect for him. Try yeah. to help him. He needs some folks on his team, his party, to help him.